What is up y'all, it's your boy Renegade and I'm here to another video and in this video I'm here to talk about WWE 2K17 and like the recent move that came out and whatever, you know what I mean. As always, I'm late for the party, you know how my videos go and whatnot, you know what I mean. That's how life is, but that's how my channel is, but whatever. I'm gonna cover this anyway. And the first news I have for you is that IGN, they basically like put out part of the roster and whatnot and I think throughout August, they're gonna go through the roster like, and reveal all of them, if not all of them, a big chunk of the roster and whatnot. And I believe they revealed about 17 roster members and whatnot. And yeah, here we go. And I'm gonna put like a screenshot on the screen right now. And we're gonna start off with Eden English, Apollo Crews, Booker T, Brian Pillman, Brie Bella, Brock Lesnar, Chris Jericho. Diego, Eric Rowan, Fernando, Goldberg WCW, Goldberg WWE, Heath Slater, uh, Jay Uso, Jim Neihart, uh, Jimmy Uso, John Cena, Connor, Larry Zbysko, Mr. McMahon, uh, Nia Jax, Nikki Bella, Paul Heyman, R-Truth, Sasha Banks, Shane McMahon, Shinsuke Nakamura, Simon Gotch, Stephanie McMahon, Ultimate Warrior, and Victor. Now, there's a lot to talk about with like these little bit of characters right now, right? First of all, like they seem like they brought in a lot of characters from the last game to this game. You know, like Larry Zbysko, Brian Pillman, um, the Smedadores, which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. But you know, I really, that really doesn't bother me. But the Smedadores do bother me. You know, Fernando and Diego. And maybe um, Etorito is going to be their manager and whatnot. Now, what bothers me is the fact that these guys just got repackaged and whatever. They're called the Shiny Stars. They're Epico and Primo again, you know. They got a whole new gimmick and whatever. And they haven't been in television for a while. I want to say like a whole year. As Los Meradores and whatnot, you know what I mean? So why are they even in the game? They should have just been dropped and whatever. But I guess, like... No big deal and whatever, you know, they just trans like transferred like the people from the old game to this game. And yeah, we have that. Another thing is if you notice on the roster we have all three McMahon members and whatnot, right? Mr. McMahon, uh Stephanie McMahon and Shane McMahon, right? Are we gonna be able to wrestle with them and whatnot, like actually use them? You know, because they have wrestled before. Mr. McMahon's a former WWE champion, um Shane McMahon's a former hardcore and European champion, Stephanie McMahon is a former women's champion, you know. They all like lay claim to like titles and whatnot. They all been in the ring and whatnot. Like epic matches, you know what I mean? So will we be able to wrestle with them or whatever? We haven't passed game, so like I don't see why not. I think we actually wrestled as Mr. McMahon and Shane McMahon, an old version of Shane McMahon, in the last game. I'm not so sure about Stephanie though. And yeah. Now, if you look at the screenshot and whatever, I have a huge problem right now with this, right? Now, recently it's been revealed that we're getting a NXT edition of the game or whatnot. You know, like a special edition or whatever. And with that special edition, we're getting Apollo Crews, which was a big part of um, NXT. You know what I mean? He wasn't in it as they revealed it, right? He was in the main roster. Nia Jax, which was on the NXT roster, but now she's on the um, main roster, on the Raw roster after the brand split. And Shishiki Nakamura, which is still on NXT. If you look closely at their like profile pictures and whatever, it says NXT Edition. Did this mean they're only going to be in the NXT Edition? I was thinking originally, no, they're not, but you know, why is that specified, you know? Like, that kind of bothers me and whatnot, kind of scares me. Now, Apollo Crews was in the last game, if I'm not mistaken. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, that, that shouldn't be a thing. Like, it shouldn't be marked that way. It should be all, like... It, it should be like a timed, um... DLC type of thing, where, like... Fine, the NXT edition gets it first, but everybody else gets it, gets them later on, you know? Like... I would be totally fine with it, but them being only like like for the NXT edition, I'm not cool with that at all. But uh, yeah, that's it with the roster pretty much. 
One thing I do want to talk about though is with um, Heath Slater, right? You see, they have like um, a regular picture of Heath Slater here, whatever. That's what he looks like now. Well, maybe like more of a beard like he has now, but you know, it's more of a current picture. But the picture that IGN revealed was this one, and this is this is like his three and B like picture. You know, what I mean his persona. Like I don't know why they like put that one up, but that's what they did. You know, what I mean hopefully they have it right and they have the right Heath Slater in the game. But yeah, that's it with the roster I really want to talk about at the moment. But I will say it's kind of funny how they got his like render right the last game and this one they went like totally old with it. So like yeah, whatever. Next thing I want to talk about is the fact that they revealed Brock Lesnar's entrance for the game and whatnot. And like yeah, it looks pretty much spot on whatever. They tweaked the graphics a little bit and whatnot. I'm gonna put a um, screenshot on the screen right now of a comparison of Brock Lesnar and WWE 2K16 and WWE 2K17 whatever. As you can see, WWE 2K17 looks way better. But another thing they like showed here is like when they pan to the crowd and you look closely, you see like a little area there where they have like it's like kind of open and you see like uh, what seems to be like trash cans, a table and whatnot. So that might actually be a fight area and whatever, where like, you know what I mean, basically you fight in, this, in the crowd and whatnot, so they're bringing this back. I think it was a old game, I want to say like WWE 2K13, I don't know, co comment down below and correct me and whatever, where you had like a little area and you would fight there in the crowd and whatever. And like, after that they started having like fan interaction where you take a fan drink and whatnot, and like spit it in the character's face or you would pour the drink on like your opponent's uh, um, head and whatnot. But other than that they pretty much removed the um, fighting in the crowd and whatnot. And yeah, but hopefully that's what this is and whatever. That's what everybody's saying that what this that's what this is. But uh yeah, you know what I mean. Another thing though is that I'm not totally sure that you were able to do this in the last game, but you were able to attack people during their entrances, right? Now, the one exception in my mind was um, Roman Reigns, because like he didn't come out in the game like everybody else. You know, what I mean, he'd come out in the cr like you know from the crowd like the Shield used to do and whatnot. And you know, now he comes out, you know, from like the regular way and whatever. But yeah, like I said, he used to come out from the um, crowd. Now, did this mean, if this is true, and like we have a backstage, like uh, not a backstage area, that we have a crowd area or whatever, we'll be able to attack him now, whatever, if if he has this entrance in the game, or your character for that matter. You know, because more than likely, your character's going to have that. So we had like the Sandman's entrance, we had the Healer's entrance, um, a couple people came from the crowd, you know, throughout like wrestling years and whatnot. So, like, now we be able to attack you know, I mean, the characters and whatnot in the crowd. Uh, another thing is, back in the day, back in like uh, when these games were only called SmackDown, yeah, SmackDown, just bring it, SmackDown, shut your mouth, shut uh, SmackDown, uh, just, um, what was it, here come the pain. And a lot of those old games, you were able to like transition to like backstage areas and whatnot. And, you know, it was pretty like bad loading like times or whatnot. But come on, we're on PS4. We should be able to do that now. So hopefully, with you know the new crowd area, like fighting area, if that's a thing, maybe we could transition to like other areas of the arena and like um fight like that and whatnot. But yeah, you know, what I mean that that I just wanted like to mention that and whatever like. There might be a crowd area where you could fight in. I know a lot of people who wanted this, you know what I mean? I really didn't care, you know what I mean? I, I do all my fighting in the ring for the most part, but, you know what I mean? A lot of people wanted this. And the last thing I want to talk about is, um, I'm going to put two pictures on the screen right now, and it's of the Usos and whatnot. Now, what's being said here is, and I can't tell myself, so like, don't kill me if you don't notice it either and what whatnot, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to like start a rumor or whatever, but like this is what I'm hearing. 
supposedly we have um, the ability to like um, I don't know like have paint come off our face and whatever when we have a um, character that has paint like Ultimate Warrior the Usos in this case and it basically comes off as you sweat in the match and whatnot. Um, supposedly one of these Usos like is losing their paint. Um, I can't tell myself, you know what I mean. But if you can, you know what I mean. Comment down below and tell me like you notice it. I don't, you know what I mean. To be like totally honest with you. But uh, yeah, y'all, you know what I mean. That's it with this video, you know what I mean. There's no no footage and whatnot, you know what I mean. I didn't want to put the Brock Lesnar entrance on my channel yet and whatnot because you know I do put all the entrances when I initially get the game you know what I mean I have a whole playlist of WB2K15 and WB2K16 of just entrances and whatnot so you know that's what I'm gonna do with WB2K17 and what, whatever right but uh yeah y'all that's it with this video you know what I mean if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up you know what I mean share with your friend that they like you know like want to know these news, this news and whatever and like comment down below and tell me if I missed anything and whatnot um and yeah y'all subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and until next time y'all peace